give us this day our daily bread. Huh? Your bread is not supplied by Fanda Merve and the white system. It's a divine system of giving you bread. When it rains, God has given you bread. The question is, where is your land? Where now you are worried that it's raining, your car that you washed is now dead. A white man is happy that it has rained. He's going to harvest and come and sell food to you. You are sick in your head. He who owns your land owns your blessings. Stop praying for blessings when the seasons are perfect. Who told you that God will bless you in a flat? And for you young people out there, I'll say these statements until they sink. You are not ready to come and marry any one of my daughters if you don't have land. You must make the land pregnant first before I can see my grandchildren. If you don't know how to look after land, you can't look after a woman. That's why God gave Eden first before Eve. Give us this day our daily the provisions of God are not your problem. If you are well positioned, the blessings of the Lord are always in your hands. Someone say amen out there. And then you claim to be Adventists. Let me whip you with your own sticks. Why do you think Ellen White was saying get out of the cities? Find yourself villages and homes where you can live in liberty and in freedom. No, you are all in a rush to go to cities. And then you say, the mark of the beast is coming. The mark of the beast, the mark of the beast is, is coming and it will come to the donkeys. And the donkeys are those that are working for the master. And when it finally comes, will you survive? Stop lying that you are going to go to heaven. All the rules that you think you know, you are going to break them. Because where there is poverty, there is no decision. Start thinking progressively so that our theology and our behavior is married. We cannot be talking about the second coming of Jesus, the mark of the beast, and the end of time. Yet our behavior is all town-based and metropolitan. Then there's something fundamentally wrong. We spend 22, 25 million doing city evangelism instead of taking the 20, 25 million and buying a farm and creating an Adventist town. And say, those who want to go and plow, please move there. Like Lot, don't have time. Are they 10 there? Are they 50? Are they 20? Are they 2? Uh, it won't work. The methodology that we're using is self-destructive. We don't even need the devil to destroy us. Particularly the Adventist church. We are capable of destroying ourselves. If you don't believe that, look at me. I'm the typical example of what you are capable of doing to yourself. Your own product. Primary school, high school, college, university. 32 years later, look at me. Are you still an Adventist? I baptized your mother your father <laughs> small little 18 year old boy 22 years old hi Josh are you still SDA we are the only church that is known for calling people non Adventists I've never heard of a non Catholic or a non Anglican or a non Lutheran you even heard it on the announcement here. And may all the non-Adventists stand. As if being is better than being none. Because this whole concept of we are a peculiar nation, a unique remnant that is hanging in the clouds has made you to segregate everybody else. You only see what they are not. You don't see what they are.
Give us this day our daily bread. 